Hey guys, I hope you're all well. You know, recently we've been talking about total hip, total knee, and even partial knee replacement parts. There's some videos uh, up on the page if you're interested. But what we haven't talked about yet is how we attach those parts to the bone. Now, in the hip, most of the time we use parts that are cementless, meaning we press them into bone. And over time, the bone grows into those parts. They actually become part of you. But I want to highlight something today called cemented total knee replacement. We'll use a knee as an illustration. So sometimes we place these parts with cement. And what I mean by that is we take a powder at the time of surgery, mix it with a liquid that's called a monomer, and it makes kind of a, a, a doughy substance. We then place that doughy substance on the bone. This is the end of the femur here. We place that uh, doughy substance on the back of the metal part. This is the femoral component. And we push them together. And by pushing them together and allowing it to hold still for about 10 minutes, that doughy material hardens and bonds the metal piece to the bone. So when we talk about replacement parts, either the hip or the knee, they can be press fit into place, so no cement, or you can use cement. There are advantages to both. If you have questions, I hope you'll, you'll ask. If you find this information helpful, uh, please feel free to share it. Uh, like the page for more information. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.